All right, guys, how's it going? Uh, it's not going very uh, good here. It's still grey here today. Wait for it, hang on, mate. Good morning. It's turned out nice again. Mother... I used to say that in my videos. I don't know how to say it anymore because YouTube keeps telling me off. How are you doing? You all right? So listen, I'm gonna warn you now, if you've just stumbled on this channel, or even if you're a regular, you know, uh, on this channel, this video is gonna contain nothing new, newsworthy, or anything like that. Uh, it has got Liverpool FC takeover in the title because we're gonna be talking about something in relation to that. But not, there's nothing of excitement in this video. This is more of a like, it's the end of the week, just want to speak to my people that follow my content. You know, these people you see in the comments, you know, to you, they might be random names, but to me, some of these people I've known for decades on here, you know, and on Cop Talk and that. So uh, it's a very uh, community driven thing, Cop Talk. Uh, it's a family. And if you are new to the channel, I'd love you to stay around. We've got a lot of new people joining on here, you know, subscribing, should I say, to the channel recently, uh, which is very nice. Uh, but if you're here for like just news and you know, jumping from one channel to the next. This really isn't the kind of environment that you want to be in. Now, I've got my Ronnie and Reggie's on today. Ronnie Cray, Reggie Cray, I think. Yeah, I like my Ronnie and Reggie's. I don't wear my glasses very often, uh, but I thought I'd wear them today. So, we're going to be talking about something to do with the takeover stuff, but it's more to do with people that have been leaving comments and things, really. Uh, it's Friday, it's the end of the week. That means that today I get, you know, to go and meet my friends. Uh, we go every Friday for a few sherbets at four o'clock UK time. Uh, not a big sesh, about four hours, five hours or something like that. One of them's a Newcastle fan. He's driving me up the wall at the minute. One's Arsenal and one is uh, Liverpool. The Liverpool fan, Steve, uh, <laughs> they're all good lads. Uh, Steve, pick, Steve picks me up, like, you know, he's the one that picks me up, and uh, with him being Liverpool, uh, you know, we talk a bit more about stuff like that, but um, they're all great lads, they're older than me, Steve's 70, I think, and uh, now I really like him, and Friday's really important to me, you know, like, just that, uh, you know, that social environment, and mixing with your friends, and that, um, and then, you know, I worked it out today, I've not left my house since last Friday, uh, you know, I'm always, you know, sat at a desk really when I'm not studying here having a cup of tea with you guys. You know, I'm working on the Cop Talk website and I've not left here for uh, for a week, believe it or not. But how better, you know, if you're going to go out of the house. <laughs> if I've been out of the house twice in the last couple of weeks, it was to the pub. So I think that's pretty good going. Now, talking about the social element, having a pint and things like that, we will be streaming tomorrow night on here, right? Uh, at 7:30 p.m. UK time, Saturday night here, uh, we'll be uh, we'll be talking Liverpool. I'm sure early doors. We'll be having a beer. Uh, we'll be playing some tunes uh, and talking about a lot of nonsense, no doubt, as the night goes on. Sometimes we stay we stay here streaming till five or six in the morning. So if you're thinking to yourself, "Oh, I'm out at 7:30," well, when you get in at 11 or 12 or whatever time it is, I guarantee you will still be here. All right, all, we're all being well. Uh, so yeah. Uh, feel feel free to come along and uh, last Saturday was amazing you know we had a really really good night uh, it, it's it's fun it's community it's it's you guys it's us having a laugh you know so come along tomorrow night it's there won't be one the following Saturday so it's going to be there's going to be a break so it's going to be two weeks until the next one so if if you normally come along to the streams on a Saturday night make sure you come to the one tomorrow night uh, I'm sure we'll be talking about all the rubbish that we've been talking about this week and I'm sure we'll have Sean on the phone kicking off. <laughs> hey, do you tell me sure? Hey, it right. he, he don't sound like that, does he? Uh, Turkey tree? No, he's not like that. Um, <coughs> I'm Dale. <laughs> um, so, guys, uh, what do I want to talk to you about? Um, I can't remember if I've mentioned this uh, or not, but if you've supported Let's Make Cop Talk TV great again and your name is not in the video description below, please email me, dunk at coptalk.com. Uh, I'm behind on all of that. I'll get caught up at the weekend. Plus, if you'd like to have your name in all my videos uh, this year, please, uh, you know, uh, read the video description and I'll add you to the squat. The squat, as Rafa would say. See what I told you? This is just going to be like an update kind of uh, video, really. So, now that we've got all that guff out of the way, see, some people will be pulling their hair out now, you know, but I'm not really bothered about them people. You know, someone left a comment the other day saying, I've just listened to this video for 18 minutes and... 
I'm just like, ah, block. I, I don't care uh, about you at all. You're exactly the kind of person that we don't want on here. Which brings me to the comments this week. You know, a couple of comments this week. Um, which is why I tend to do some videos purely for members. You know, like channel members. You can join the channel or you can join Cop Talk and go on the VIP members website or whatever. And I put the videos on there as well. And there's two reasons why I make um, videos, you know, why I restrict videos sometimes for members. Uh, one is... Um, if it's sensitive, and I think that maybe we shouldn't be putting it out there to the to, to the wider audience, you know. Uh, and secondly, uh, which I've got to be honest, is probably the one that's the main reason on on most of my videos is for a quiet life. I knew there was one coming. It's for a quiet life. So sometimes you can make a video. And you get like, nye, 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 nye. you said this and you said that and blah, blah, blah. you know, like that, like kids, right? And I ain't got time for that nonsense at all. And I know you would say, well, just ignore it. Don't. It's not that easy, right? Because like I'll be sat just like minding my own business on a night time. And every time you guys comment on my videos, I get a notification on my phone. Every single comment. And I read it the minute you comment it, right? Because you're important to me. I like to see what you're saying. So when you see one of them coming, like a daft one coming, I just go like, give me strength. You know what I mean? Like, and it, it just plays on my mind. Like, I just think, how can anyone be so thick or so rude? And, you know, I just think, I can't be bothered with this. Why, why do I bother? Like that kind, you know, it's right, that's how it makes you feel. And it can spoil your night a little bit. But it, honestly, it can. Uh, you know, and I want to get, I want to you know, respond and stuff like that. And I could be in the middle of a film or something. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not I'm going to put it on still pause. I'm not having this, right? And I had two ridiculous comments this week. Let me let me explain to you how thick some people can be or how stupid they can be uh, or how awful they can be. Uh, and this, and it is in relation to the Liverpool FC takeover, for example. So one of the comments that I said this week about the Liverpool FC takeover and American ownership, these business people at both Liverpool and Manchester United was... How you know how greedy they are, right? I don't have a problem with these with any investors making money on Liverpool Football Club, for example. They stabilised the club, they've made the money, leave with a nice profit. Well done, you, right? Okay, that's fine. It's business. There's no problem. I ain't got a problem with business. Um, but what I said was, I said I think there's then greed. So if you can make you know a couple of billion profit, but you're going to hold out for another billion a summer, you could say, well, that's business, or you could say, well, it's greed. Uh, you know, I'm not in the um, if I'm selling my house, you know, or a car or something, I know what it's worth. I know what it's worth to me. Uh, you know, I'm always going to, you're always going to normally go with the one that offers you the most money. But there might be times when you think, well, actually, I really like that person. So I'm, I'm going to cut them some slack. I'm going to help them, you know. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Um, but I'm not going to try and, and I'm trying not to use uh, profanity. I'm not going to try and... Um, well, I, I want to use the word S-C-R-E-W, right? No, the YouTube detection stuff will probably put that in a in a word anyway. But the reason why I'm not swearing is because YouTube flags my videos. I then have to appeal. It takes forever to get it then unrestricted from that appeal uh, while that's happening. And it's easy if I just try and excuse uh, profanity. Uh, and every now and then we'll just stick that uh, up there instead, right? So... I, I, I'm, I'm not the sort of person that would want uh, someone, you know what I mean? Like, uh, do them over, out like that. And I just think that there's there's a time when there is greed with these, uh, with footballers, with billionaire owners or whatever. And I've mentioned this in my videos and someone commented and said, what are you talking about? It's business. And I said, no, it's not business. Business is like, you know, being really like grateful that you've made a huge profit on something. Greed is trying to squeeze every little bit of it out, Right. And if you're someone that is already in a very comfortable financial position in life, you need to operate like that. Do you know what I mean? That's that's what I think is greed. So this guy says, well, you've got memberships on here. You're no different to them. And I'm like, I just can't believe I'm listening to what this div's saying. Do you know what I mean? That like, there's a bit of a difference between someone that's just like trying to get by in life, pay the bills, you know, uh, and... I, I don't like memberships and subscriptions, to be honest. And I was thinking about this earlier because I knew I was going to talk about it. And I thought I was going to say, to be honest with you, if I was minted, I wouldn't have a membership website. But you know what? I think I still would. 
Uh, and the reason why, I'd probably make it, you know, like a quid or something like that. The reason why is because it does get rid of uh, undesirables. You know, I, I, I don't mean that about everyone. You know, everyone's undesirable if they're not a member. What I mean is troublemakers and trolls and things like that. They don't usually, uh, you know, contribute to something and then be abusive because they know they lose their access. It's kind of like what uh, Elon Musk is doing with Twitter, where if you become a Twitter Blue subscriber you uh, are pushing those types down you know the spammers and the bots and things like that so i personally i don't like memberships and subscriptions because it shuts out good people um but you you could not turn around you can't put me in the same category as the glazers uh and john henry and people like that just because like you know I, i'm trying to get by in life there's a difference between getting by and and, and exploiting do you know what i mean and um, I don't know, it bothered me that comment, you know, because I just think, how can you possibly, you know, it's just ridiculous. I mean, how brain did I you to even make such a comparison? You know, people enjoy my content, they enjoy my website, they enjoy my videos, they enjoy my podcast. If someone becomes a member of this YouTube channel, for example, it's no different to them buying me a beer in a pub or a coffee. Like if we bumped into each other, if I bumped into you and you said, don't you all right, mate, I'll watch your vids. I go, yeah, I've got, yeah, let me get you a drink. That's what we do, isn't it? So that's how I see it anyway, you know. And um, I just I just thought that was ridiculous. And the other uh, stupid comment that, that I received this week, uh, what was it? Uh, or oh, backtracking on the Liverpool FC takeover. Now, if you think about it, on the 23rd of January, I said, keep an eye, like on this Everton game, for example, because we're told that there might be visitors. Visitors, not guests. Visitors was the word used. Uh, and we've spoke at length, you know, we've speculated and said, wonder if it's to do with that, guys, or this would make sense, or that wouldn't make sense. But maybe it's nothing to do with a potential takeover or anything. I've made that quite clear. And then we had a few days ago one of these infamous Twitter ITK accounts saying that there was going to be people at the Everton game uh, and, you know, talks are going well on, on that takeover. And what I did yesterday was, I, 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 I think it was yesterday or the day before, actually, you know, I made a video saying, look, guys, um, actually, I think I made a couple of videos and I said, you know, in my opinion, I don't think this is anything to do with, you know, takeovers. I don't want you to think that the Arabs are going to be at the game because the amount of like Chinese whispers and things since then, uh, since this other, this, this Twitter account or whatever, had, you know, just made this stupid misinformation, basically, a lot of people were getting carried away and it kind of like, you know, people were saying, oh yeah, and Dunk said that. And I'm like, no guys, I didn't say that. Right. And I tried to be very specific. I tried to, like, look out for you guys, yeah? And um, this guy says, hey, are you backtracking now? I said, no, I'm not backtracking. How am I backtracking? On the 23rd of January, I didn't say it was anything to do with takeover talks. I didn't say it was anything to do with Arabs coming to Anfield. Do you know what I mean? And it's that kind of... You know, I'm very specific on what I say. And it annoys me when numpties come out and, 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 and say things or suggest things like that. It's easy to backtrack after an event. But, you know, this is what I'm talking about when you have mature people following your content, being a member, being a subscriber, whatever, uh, rather than these lunatics, you know, these kids and that, and people that are just a bit dense here, is they also understand that things can change in football. So even if I'd said in January, uh, I, the Arabs are coming, you know, and then today, before the game, I said the Arabs are not coming, then maybe someone somewhere along the line has changed what they said. That, that happens in football, guys, right? But it doesn't apply in this instance because I never said arrows are coming. I never said it was related to takeover stuff. We can only assume and speculate and hope that it is, right? But I saw a lot of misinformation the last few days and wanted to put a little, you know, calm down sort of video out to you guys saying, guys, I think you're going to be disappointed. I don't think it's on that. But I also said, just keep watching. We'll see what speculation comes out later. And it's like when you get a couple of people like that chipping those kind of contributions in, it makes me think I should have made that video just to the members because then I know I, I'm not ever going to be subjected to that kind of immaturity or, you know, just complete. I don't know if it's just people trying to be clever or whatever, but it's just like, it's just ridiculous. And that's why it's good to have a quiet life sometimes. And why, if you see Dunks made a, a video, for it's only for the channel members, you know, I wish I could watch it. Nine times out of ten it's going to be because I want to avoid imbeciles like that. 
Do you know what I'm saying, guys? So no backtracking on my part. I don't need to backtrack because I never made those claims in the first place, right? Um, I'm just trying to look out for people and, and keep it real. You know what I mean? People like that shouldn't be on here if they haven't got the intelligence. Now, the other day we also spoke about... Um, <clears throat> Do you remember I told you about the picture of me and my missus at, uh, at Anfield? Uh, was it Raphael van der Vaart? I always get Raphael. I always get Raphael van der Vaart mixed up with Vincent van der Vaart, the darts player. For similar names. Um, and uh, you know the Tottenham player he scored at Anfield, and he went. He, he ran past the lower centenary mass seat to row six, uh, and he's giving a celebration as he's going by. Uh, my missus is a, is a, a, top, a Tottenham fan. And she should have been up celebrating, but I'm stood next to her, you know, like going, yeah, I'm gonna fuck, you know what I mean, like going crazy. Uh, and she sat there in pink and she's like, ah, terrified. It was the first time she'd ever been to Anfield. And it's a great picture. It's a great picture. And I mentioned it in a video this week. I can't remember why. Uh, and one of you guys found it. And uh, I think he sent it to me on Twitter and said, I found it, Dunk. I found that picture, right? So... We said, didn't we? You know, you know, I don't like this picture behind me, right? This, this, is, this is a Spanish kitchen. I'm in Spain. My other kitchen, uh, in in another part of my house, uh, is very modern and is all grey tiles and modern tiles. Our kind of influence. This is Spanish, all right. So, and that picture is what my missus bought years ago. And I remember walking in here one day. And I went, what the? And she was like, well, I like it. And I went, well. I Listen, right, what happens in a kitchen is not really my business. As long as there's a chicken here, chain to the sink, I don't care. Right, so someone said what you should do is get your pit, that picture blown up, Dunk, right, of that goal and put that behind you. And then it reminded me, and I might have even said it at the time, guess what, right? Many years ago, I actually ordered that picture, and it's here. Well, I hope it's here. And, well, in fact, as I open it up, See, I don't know if it would fit there. There she is, look. You can see her in pink, look, yeah? She's like, oh, my God. She's terrified. She's covering her mouth. She's scared. Uh, because there's there's me, look. Look, there's me. I haven't opened this for many, many years. What year was this game, guys? Can you remember? And as you open it up, there's me jumping out. Look, got my hands in the air, screaming and shouting. Uh, where's she gone? She's over there. She's like, oh, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. She's a Tottenham fan. And there's two, there's, have you seen these kids down here? The, the kid at the front here look going, yeah, yeah, but look at him, look. Look, look at his hand here. Yeah, great. And then you'll see the lads behind me. Uh, I think, which I think is class, these two. Look, yeah, they, they, these are in that. Like, yeah, right. right, and obviously we've got the goal scorer down at the bottom. Where are we? Can I, I don't know if I can fit it in. There he is. So I don't know where I've gone. Oh, I think I must be off. Oh, I'm there. You can see me. There she, there's her in the pink. And what I thought was, I wonder if we could put this up here instead. What do you reckon? Would it... Can we put that up here? I can't see what that looks like, guys. It's quite big. I think that's going to fit perfectly. I think that's going to fit perfectly, isn't it? What do you think? I knew I was going to make this like kind of like catch up on the week. You know, the stuff that's happened <laughs> this week. And I knew I had this downstairs. And can you, when, when was that game, please? When he scored? Can someone tell me in the comments? Because uh, obviously I can't check on my phone while I'm recording. So maybe I should get that framed and put that in there. I wonder if it's, this is a post stamp on here. Mm. It was sent to Spain. See, I, I can't see with them glasses on. Oh, there is a date, 2105. Oh, you can't see it. I know now you're already Googling and there'll be loads of people commenting in the section. Oh, this says it was posted to me on the 23rd of May, 2011. Two for 23rd. Wow, so that's 12 years. Is that right? 12 years and it's still waiting to be framed. And then people will say to me, why have you not you know, finished that infamous book that you're doing, Don? Do you see my point? Do you remember when um, Michael Owen scored a hat-trick against Germany, Steven Gerrard and uh, Emma Leske all scored in the 5-1 victory in Germany? 
500 pound on that game for my client to score an hat trick at 66 to 1. You do the maths. And those pictures, that was the year 2000. And I recently sold them pictures uh, because they were all signed. Uh, a Liverpool player uh, got them all signed for me. What's this? I've got a little one here. It's the same picture. That's going to be too small for there. But, uh, there you go. Look, you can see yours truly there. Look, just expressing some uh, some anger. And there, there she is. Look, in, in the pink. She's uh, yeah, always in the pink. And so, yeah, uh, she was terrified, even though she was obviously happy. But I love that. I love that. Look at all the little fingers. Look at the lad right in front of the front row with the finger up. That little kid there, like, giving him the old W. Uh, and these two lads up here. Brilliant. I, I, I love football, mate. I, I, it's mint, isn't it? When it's going right. When it's going right. So, um, I am going to try and get that picture framed and I'm going to put it up there. I'm going to put it up there. Now, she's not around these parts at the minute. She lives overseas at the minute because we've spent some time apart. Uh, which is a long story, which I won't bore you lot to death with. But if you follow the Don't Know's Best podcast, you'll know a little bit more about stuff like that. But we're still very much in contact every day. She messaged me this morning. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. Because walls have ears, you know what I'm saying, guys? <laughs> don't want to give all my secrets away. Of course, I don't want to put the girls off, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, um... It's coming down. So yeah, I just thought I'd mention uh, those those pictures to you because that was quite funny. Now, is there anything else that I want to talk to you about? We talked about the dip, but then people, right? When people leave ridiculous comments on here, right? I have a zero tolerance for what I call in life, and this is not just on here. This is in real life as well, offline. Nonsensical bull. That I I have no tolerance for nonsensical bull in my life, right? So when I see someone, you know, just say something like, I have no problem with people disagreeing with me at all, no problem at all. But if someone disrespects me on my YouTube channel, runs their mouth at me or somebody else, because I won't have people hating on people at all, uh, no matter what their opinions are. If someone on here says FSG are brilliant, they're allowed around these parts, right? I don't like bullies and, and people, you know, ganging up on folk. But I just get rid of them immediately. So there's no way back from that, right? So always think before you speak and make sure it, it doesn't come across. It can't be read in a different way. And I, 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 I don't, it doesn't happen very often, guys. And I, it's not because I can't handle it. I just can't be doing with it. I ain't got time for it. I, want, I get a lot of emails and comments every day. And I just want to hear from the people that understand football and how it works you know like what I mean by football is what happens behind the scenes and you have to understand that things can change right so we've had Liverpool managers over the years you know Brendan Rodgers I can categorically tell you Mario Balotelli is not signing for Liverpool he signs for Liverpool Phil Thompson the night before uh, Robbie Fowler left he's not <laughs> going anywhere he left the next day I do believe um, and I, you know I remember a, a journalist at one of the uh, national newspapers that was very close to Robbie Fowler uh, giving me information uh, the previous day. I can't remember. Off the, was Robbie Fowler ever linked with Villa at the time? I can't remember. But I know he gave me dud information uh, at the time. And I, to this day, I don't know if he did it on purpose to throw me off or whether it was a genuine mistake. But anyway, overnight, it changed. Uh, you know, there's been times when, you know, when... Um, you know, I was close to the L4 consortium that tried to buy Liverpool Football Club and the, the people involved in buying the club or trying to buy the club were telling me, you know, how how advanced it was. And someone asked me, once asked me on the members' website and said, personally, don't watch your feelings today. And I said, a thousand percent, it's going to happen. That's a very strong statement to make because the people doing the deal said, it's happening, it's going to happen. But I've learned with maturity and experience that unless something is signed, that you don't do that, you don't say that. You can say, well, you've always got to add the disclaimer. Who remembers uh, Lee Boyer photographed at Melwood shaking Gerard Ullier's hand on a deal, you know, to come to Liverpool? And then it was because of, like, the the uh, uh, the reaction at the time, you know, because he was caught up in stuff that was, you know, that none of us like. 
uh, that deal didn't happen. But if you'd have, if you'd have, if you'd have, if you'd have, if you'd have been that photographer, if you'd have seen that picture at the time, you'd have gone to the bookies and said, "I'll have a thousand on League Boy. You're going to Liverpool." It didn't happen. So things in football change, guys. And you know that's why when people are credible or people you trust, you only know whether you trust me or not, right? It doesn't really make any difference to me. I'd rather you trust me. I'm never going to lie to you. I'm never going to deliberately deceive you. I have no reason to. Why would I do that? You know, I've got a members website that we've had for decades, right? With thousands and thousands and thousands of Liverpool fans over the years supporting my work, right? If I if I deliberately deceive someone or say something that I know not to be true, like these certain accounts on Twitter, for example, then people are not going to stay, are they? They're going to go, well, you know, yeah, things can change, but you, you there's a difference between something changing and, and mi deliberately mis uh, misleading someone. And what you've got to remember this is... My answer to anyone, the people out there that hate me, is I'm not an ITK. I don't want to put myself in that bracket. Um, but why would those people renew lots and lots and lots of people for decades? You know, these people have been with me for since I was in my 20s. I'm, I'm 50 in two years' time. Uh, you know, so they obviously trust me and, and believe that what we do on there. And you've got to remember that Cop Talk's not just me. You know, there's a lot of people behind the scenes uh, well, not behind the scenes, that makes it sound like they work with me. See, this is how I like to be specific. They do work with me, but they're not. No one's employed at Cop Talk. No one gets a wage. I don't get a wage. People become members and subscribers, and from that money, I pay the, the website, I pay the bills, I pay for my own bills to survive because people want me to make the content. Well, I've got to get through life. If I'm not doing this, I have to go to work. I can't. It's just reality, yeah? So if there's a bit left over, and trust me, there never is these days. Uh, you know, I would treat myself to something, but I don't, right? So, uh, you know, people that, uh, there's a lot of people that make up Cop Talk that are not directly related to me. You know, we've got good, good contributors on there. So Cop Talk's not just about me. But you do have these accounts out there on Twitter that deliberately mislead. And I have noticed a pattern with these people that they do tend to be selling something all of the time. Betting links, LeBron James kit, you know, and they're still at it today, you know, and... You know, you've got to question what, what, the, the, why. Why do you need that if you've just got a Twitter account? I, I, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? You don't cost you anything to have a Twitter account. Uh, I, I, I don't even know how I'm explaining all this, really. But, uh, you know, what, you, what the, the, the things change in football, all right? But I, I actually haven't changed anything that I've said. I've not changed a single thing, so there's no backtracking from me. You know, privately, you know, I've been hoping that something, someone along the line would be at the Liverpool-Everton game and also the other two fixtures either side of it or whichever ones there were that we flagged up, the two home games and the Newcastle away. And maybe that will be the case, that it will be someone to do with a potential takeover of the club, as Rafa would say. Yeah, for sure, Rafa. <laughs> we do all the little jokey things, don't we? But I'd, I don't know that. I've never said that. So I'm not backtracking, guys. I'm not backtracking. I'm trying to help people and say, look... Other people are saying that, and I personally don't believe that there's going to be anybody at that game, uh, at the Everton game, uh, to you know, any Arabs. And then that's what people were saying. The, the Middle East are coming to attend that game, and I just don't believe that. I don't know, guys, either way. I didn't know in January. I never said that in January. I didn't say it now, all right? So I like to be very uh, very clear about things, uh, and it's extremely insulting when, uh, when somebody says something and which isn't true, you know, so I've never said that. And uh, it's easy after the event to turn around and go, well, no, nah, there's no one there. Yeah, so I got told something changed, yeah. And maybe sometimes people say that and it's true. Uh, but I think the ITK accounts, the people, you know, the in the know accounts, someone was asking yesterday what that means. I prefer to call them Twitter, tw I can't say the word. Um, Twitter twits, there we go. Uh, you know, some of these accounts, the majority of them, I think, are deliberately misleading people. And that creates misinformation to the point where, you know, good people are coming to me that are my members saying, Dunk, I've heard that, you know, these, these Arabs are going to be at the game. And I'm like, I, I need to address this because I haven't heard that, you know. And people keep saying, well, you said in January, no, what I said in January was there was going to be visitors. It could be an agent. It could be marketing. It could be anything. It could be anything. And, but we could only speculate, couldn't we, during that time ago? Well, let's hope it's to do with that. Makes sense in some regards. You know, the, the people that watch my content, they get it. They know the score. You know, they know a big dunk won't mislead you. Uh, and I will try and always uh, keep you, you know, in the right direction. You know what I'm saying, guys? So uh, I dealt with that. So, yeah, I just, like I say, zero tolerance. And uh, I just, when, when someone says something ridiculous, I just hide the comment. 
Uh, there's an option on YouTube, it says hide user from channel and you and I am never subjected to anything they say ever again. I think they might still be able to comment uh, and maybe they think we can see it, but we can't, all right? So it's kind of like a shadow ban, I think, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, that's why we have in our comment section a very good, you know, community. Uh, I think in the whole, you know, all the videos we've done the last few weeks, we've had thousands of views and I think we've only had two people that are just trying to be smart, you know what I mean? So... That's good. I like that. I think the user base for me is very good. So, is there anything else? No, make sure you come on here tomorrow night. Um, I go out, you know, uh, for a drink with the boys today and tomorrow night and all weekend. And I know that some of you enjoy, you know, uh, watching the videos and commenting and stuff like that. We have a, you know, we have a, a Telegram channel, which is basically, Telegram is the same as WhatsApp, but better. And you can join that. And you can be in there right now. Right now, there's hundred, there's a couple of hundred people I think in there. It's only a new thing that I created recently, where you can join in. You don't have to talk. You can just listen. You can contribute. You can put audio messages in. Uh, a lot of people that you see in the the comments here are on there. When I go to the boozer later today, just because I'm not on here or on the members website, uh, doesn't mean I'm here. Well, I'm in there. I'm checking the messages, seeing what people are saying. If something happens, you know, I'll drop it in there. Uh, you can you can follow this on your mobile phone, your tablet, your laptop, your your desktop. You know you can be on a train, you know, bored off your head, whatever, with the family, and you can load up the thing and have a little see what Dunk's saying and everybody else. You know, um, and it's it's completely free. Your mobile phone number's not exposed to anybody. You got you know, so you just join. You put your your number in and a name in. You you request to join the group. I approve you and you're in. You know, if it's a numpty, if it's one of these clowns that we're talking about on here, they're removed within seconds because the moderators will jump on them and virtually cosh them and kick them out to be gone. So it's moderated 24/7. It's a sensible environment. You know, it's nice to talk to other Liverpool fans. You know, it's nice to talk to the Liverpool fans. And on social media, it can be very toxic. You know, you might say something that you know the majority don't like. Uh, and, and you can be set upon. Well, you're never going to get that in that environment because I won't allow it, right? Whatever your, your views are about Liverpool Football Club, you know, if you come along and say, well, I don't know what's wrong with you all, uh, you know, I would prefer that the owners stayed or I oppose Middle East ownership because I've got strong moral values about this or whatever. Those views are welcome on Cop Talk. And I've fallen out with many people over the years for allowing people, even the, the, the small man, the one person in a big group, to have whatever opinion they want, as long as they express it sensibly without effing and blinding and just, you know, not just saying that's my view and I'm going to stand by it. So that's really, really important to me. So if you want to come along, just one second. Oi! That's my rescue dog outside, Remy, and he's chewing the gate. He's trying to break out. He's out there thinking, that fat getting there, he's, he's talking to them divs online. He shook me out here so I'm not making noises and licking me nuts behind and all that. Um, so yeah, if you want to if you want to join that, right, all you have to do is on your mobile phone, this is probably the easiest way of doing it, or on a, on a laptop or desktop, is in your browser, go to T for Telegram, T dot M E, T dot me, forward slash cop talk news, one word, right? That's one link. Uh, and the other one, that's so you'll get the news alerts on your phone wherever you are. And if it's the middle of the night, I send it muted anyway, so it won't wake you up. And you can probably disable the notification. Well, you can. And the other one, the chat room, is t.me forward slash cop talk chat. <laughs> that's a surprise, isn't it? So you want both of those, I think, on your uh, on your device. And it'll. I think you'll be able to see it or it'll um, <clears throat> prompt you to download Telegram, which is a completely safe app it's it, like i say hundreds of millions of people around the world use it it's better than telegram it's where all the cool kids are obviously and uh it's very very good and i also post videos in there you know like interviews uh things to do with the club you know that might be out there just to try and help you out i send out the the back pages and things like that and uh, when i do a video like this i'll post a link in there to let you know you know so if you want to be part of the community if you're new to this channel i would love you to be a part of that you know uh, and like I say, your views will always be respected on here about Liverpool Football Club. Always, you know. And uh, I always say to people, don't be having a go at other people in the comments. You you, you have your opinions and you, you don't justify your support. You know, if I ever see anyone saying, you're this, you're that, you're not a real fan. I just get rid of them on your behalf, right? We won't tolerate that around here. That's it, I think. So it's more of like a, a little update, you know, about how we've, uh, what things have happened during the week. 
Uh, I did say yesterday, this is driving me mental, all this takeover talk, talking about Liverpool, United, FSG, LeBron James, you know, just all this stuff has just driven me mental this week. Uh, and, I, and I actually put a tweet out last night saying, I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to hide away on the members website today. Uh, and here I am making a video for you guys. Um, yeah, but it's good. I just I just wanted to uh, to touch base with you, really. Uh, I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, I think I'm going to go and record a Don't Know's Best podcast now, actually. I think I'm going to do that. There isn't really a lot to talk about uh, concerning the club. I mean, I've seen Didier Manry in his mouth this week about uh, Jurgen Klopp saying he should apologise to James Pearce. I mean, Jurgen Klopp, uh, Didier Manry is a very bitter man. Uh, he obviously doesn't like Jurgen. Uh, you know, the same fellow countrymen and that, you often get instances like this. We had the Alonso, Rafael Benitez, uh, Rafa, or, you know, <laughs> for sure. We had them fall out over the years, which was terrible for Liverpool Football Club. But that, to be honest with you, was, as someone that's lived in Spain for, what, 16 years, I think, 15, 16 years or something, I know what the Spanish are like. They're very proud, you know, like, and they can scream and rant and, and everything at each other. Like, when I remember my neighbours once having an argument out here when I first moved here, and if it had been that level of an argument in England, someone would have got shot. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, their heads stoved in. They were literally, I was like, oh my God, someone's going to, you know, going to gonna get killed here. And they have that, like, really, really aggressive. And I'm thinking, you know, the police, you know, are going to have to come and save this, like, someone's going to get injured. And the police just turn up and they're like, they'll just join in and shout and ball as well. And, um, you know, five minutes later, these two blokes, these two neighbours are just like sat having a cup of tea again. You, you, you can't make it up. You know, the, the Spanish, the way that they communicate with each other. Um, so I think that the, the Rafa, Rafa, <laughs> for sure, <laughs> for sure. Hey, I'm watching you. He's trying to eat the barbecue now. Stupid. There's no sausages on it. <laughs> you know what's in the oven? Not sausages, meatballs. Um, <clears throat> so the, the, the Alonso Rafa thing was a pride thing. You know, unfortunately for us. And the reason I mentioned that is because they were obviously two fellow countrymen. And you look at the Jurgen Klopp, Diddy, a man thing, and I don't think it's the same thing. You know, I just think uh, Diddy just has no time for, for the boss whatsoever. Oi! You can come in now. I'll let you in. All right, guys. Uh, if you want to support my channel, please do. Uh, all the information is in, in, in the video description below. Uh, of course, I want as many people as possible to support my channel, but that's not why we're here. Um, I, I like it if you become a Cop Talk VIP member, because when that flashes up from before, and I can then go and have a good drink. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know what I'm saying? It's Friday. Is someone going to make me happy and become a Cop Talk VIP member today? Uh, but no, we, you know, we want as many members as we can. But the one thing I do say to people is that when you thumbs up a video, when you leave a nice comment... When you interact, when you know you, you're adding to the community, you're adding to all of it, and that's the only reason that I've made uh, so many videos recently because you guys have inspired me. Like you know, I'm getting really nice comments and emails as well, especially when I did the video the other day uh, about my mum's anniversary. And when you're when it's like that, it makes you want to do more. You want to do more. You want to get on there and do more. I know I shouldn't be wasting my time doing this now. I should be working. You know, and and focusing on that February is a terrible month. I should be working as hard as possible, and but I want to speak to you guys. You know, and those comments, man, they make they make me want to do more. You know, and I, and I'm enjoying it again. It's just when you get the odd one or two come along, it's just like it puts you off. And I just think, right, that's it. You know, yesterday when I when I was thinking about these comments and that and this numpty yesterday, I was like, you know, all the videos to do with the take the takeover opinion. I'm just gonna I'm gonna switch them all. To like to members only to channel members only, but why should other people suffer because of that? It might do me some good. Like people might go, oh, I'm gonna sign, I'll sign up. I want to watch that. That's not how I operate, right? I want to be here uh, to everybody, to all my my friends and everything, you know. So why should people like that, uh, you know, uh, be you know just get their way if that makes sense? So uh, I don't know. We're all right. We're good. So. I'm off to the pub today. Are you buzzing for me? Yeah, listen, have a great weekend, guys. I'm sure I'll be here with you. I'll be here. To, I'm sure I'll be back with you before today's. So you know what I'm like? Because I'm going to go to work in a minute and I'm going to see if there's anything that we can talk about. You know what I'm saying? And maybe I'll come back. I don't know. If not, maybe I'll do a video tomorrow daytime. But what I will do is I will be live on here tomorrow night, right? So I would love you to come along 7.30 p.m. UK. Get in at 7.30 if you can. But if you can't, come in later in the evening. If you're stuck at home with me, sis, just say, I'm just off to the loo, babe. 
just get up to the toilet and instead of knocking one out to you know whatever you know just don't knock one out to me come on you know just come, no, no don't come on here um load up here come on here no not that word visit here uh and uh, and say hello we'd love to see you you know what i'm saying yeah uh, and make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel or you will not be able to take part. You, it's free to subscribe, but we won't just have randomers coming in and, and spoiling it, you know, because we get divs coming every now and then. Uh, and that's it. All right. That's it. Good. Uh, is it time to eat yet? Oh, it is. Oh, it's 12 o'clock. That is better than anyone ever. Look how she is. Mm. Just remember when you support my channel, you help me buy meatballs. <laughs> mm. 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 Mm.